how to create a horizontal scrolling images in Squarespace. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can create your own horizontal scrolling images on the website that you will create on Squarespace. All you need to do is very simple. I have a code right here that you have to copy and paste on the uh, page. Uh, so it will be very simple. All you have to do is to follow up the tutorial to the end and you will get the whole idea and the all of the steps that you need to uh, get the scrolling or horizontal scrolling images. The first step that you have to go is to go to the squarespace.com then you have to uh, get started if you don't have an account or if you have already you go to the dashboard a little disclaimer guys everything created in this video such as email addresses uh, websites accounts are created for the sake of the video they are not created for any personal uses so you have to create your own to go ahead now in this dashboard you can select uh, whichever option that you have in my case i have a website and a selling page and equity scheduling i will go with the website here on the website all you have to do is to go on the uh, website go to pages like this or you can go on the design I will go with for example the design in order to go to the design all you have to do is to click on edit this is the section of edit and the first thing that you have to do is to add a section you click on here add a section for example, uh, I don't want to add the section. I will go ahead and add a section, for example, or like this, click on this. I will wait a moment to the reload the uh, inspection or the tools. Right here, we have to add an image. For example, this is the image. We will see a uh, image displayer, for example, which has uh, this um, information bar, for example. Let's go with this six images uh, right here. Let's add uh, this case for images. You can edit the gallery by, for example, switching uh, the uh, images or making add the images. You can go, for example, here and edit this image. You can adjust the contrast and everything. You can cancel or you can uh, delete this image, for example, or add an image, upload an image. Let's go with an image that I have created. Um, let's see, uh, I, will, I want to create uh, images from here. Let's see, the, we have the horizontal images like this. It will be good to go. I will close the images uh, since it has uh, the ability to go and now you can edit this section right here you can uh, modify the colors for example you can go to go like this or like this the gallery you can put the grid strips masonry for example or let's go with the simple grid you can put the uh, full width or the full bleed width the inset or whatever you want for the aspect ratio you can uh, choose whatever you want you can uh, go for example with one 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 square uh, three four vertical or go with the uh, white screen for example like this and you can add the spacing the captions animation and it will be good to go here right here i will go and save the uh, uh, so the uh, thing that I have added I will exit right here or I will go ahead and select the image bar that I have added this is the the selection I will go ahead and make the modification or and I will add the code the CSS code as you can see right here we have only fixed images the next step that we will do is to go to the edit or exit the edit and go back to website I will show you from the beginning the website you select pages you can see these are static images they are not moving at all when seeing pages you go up or you go down directly to website tools 
this is the tools that we are uh, seeking for here the custom code is the custom css since i have this code right here it is a customizable fully customizable code uh, to suit your website you have to go to css custom css here if you see a empty field it is okay all you have to do is to paste the uh, code right here that we have like this you copy it and you go here and paste it if you see already a code all you have to do is to select all the code and then you have to uh, delete it here we have our code i have pasted our code and instantly you can see the images are floating or scrolling horizontally like this it is like magic now uh, this code i said before it is a uh, very customizable and fully customizable here the uh, animation slideshow uh, speed is set to 30 seconds to uh, finish the all the images for example i want to uh, make it faster i will put 10 seconds like this look how the speed increased and for example i want to make it slower i will put 100 second linear infinite it will take a ages it will take an age to scroll up all the images it is up to you to show for example if you have few images and you want them to see the all the three or four images you have to put them on the uh, highest uh, time that you can for example 80 let's go with 80 second like this it is a bit acceptable now let's go with for example the minimum width which is 50 percent right here you can go with 100 percent like this or you can make it smaller by 25 percent like this it is showing a little images and now for the gap between each image you can increase it or decrease it it depends on the images for example you are putting logos of uh, your favorite brands you can put the images of the brands of course with a um, uh, background removed only png file and you, you put the margin right for example here is five percent let's increase it and see what do we what we will have how the margin have been increased i will for example go with zero percent we have only uh let's go with ten percent right here we have the uh, slideshow let's go with now let's uh, put the timer on 25 seconds so we will have the infinite effect right here now we will go and for example put the margin again on two percent let's go with the two percent here the margin is not looking very good because we have few images only few images so it will be showing uh, sometimes a blank space like this we will put it on five percent again and you can see it is uh, very simple here is a showcase for the images now let's go to the keyframes light show here you have the uh, percentage of the uh, minus 225 percent you can put it right here for this number to get the repetition for example let's go minus 100 like this you can see that we have here the minus 100 uh, percentage to the slideshow of the keyframe here it is a very simple to use you can customize this and all you need to do is to click on save this was uh, very easy and self-explanatory don't forget to put the code copy and paste it on the custom css where do we have or where do you see uh, this custom css this is the platform the website platform the first thing do you, that you have to do is to add the uh, slideshow or the uh, the image slider like this click on edit here you add a section you go to images and select one of them this is the slider that we have added you can add another slider and you are good to go after that you click on save then exit
the next step is to go to pages scroll down to website tools click on custom CSS then you have to uh, deselect or erase all the writing right here then you put your own and you are ready to go that was all for today's video hope that you have enjoyed the content uh, please don't forget to follow the steps uh, gradually so you will get this results thank you guys for watching and see you on the next video